Okay, we couldn't let National Drink Wine Day go by without celebrating with a glass, too, or maybe three, looks like. <laughs> we have Seth Buckley, the blogger behind Musings by the Glass, here to share some great picks. Thank you so much for coming in. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thank you. Well, I know you're an attorney, but you're a wine photographer and blogger, so this yeah. is a passion of yours. You take it seriously. Definitely a passion, yes. All right, so it's, it's President's Day, too, so uh, you have some interesting facts that you want to bring to us? I, I do. It's such a great day. It's eat ice cream for breakfast day, it's <laughs> right. President's Day, we have the holiday, and now we're just drinking some wines. So this is a great day. And I thought um, because it's President's Day and we're celebrating our presidents in this great country that we would um, have some American wines and we would uh, tell a couple of facts about presidents and wine. I love it. And so we're looking at some great video of people enjoying their vino, but what have you brought for us today? Three different ones. Uh, I have. So I brought a red and a white. Everyone always asks uh, about a good red and good white uh, recommendation. And then, of course, we have a rosé because I couldn't bring uh, a rosé here. I mean, I had to bring a rosé here knowing that that's one of your favorites. So. Absolutely, yes. Rosé all day. It's very popular <laughs> right now. And you have some fun facts to bring us with the wine because you, you don't have to take wine so seriously. You can have fun with it too. You don't have to be a wine snob per se. No, of course not. And, um, you know, it's a passion for me. Like you said, I'm an attorney and there's a lot of people out there that this isn't all that they do or it's not their profession. And um, some presidents of ours were big, big wine connoisseurs. Okay. Uh, my favorite of which is Thomas Jefferson, uh, our third president. He was such a wine geek that he brought a journal around with him through Europe, writing about wine and researching wine, and it became um, a big authority on wine that people reference even to today. No kidding. And, and which one do you think he would have been into? Oh, he would definitely would have been into the Pinot Noir in the center. Uh, this is a Pinot Noir from Oregon, but one of his favorite places uh, for wine was Burgundy region in France, and that's uh, the home of Pinot Noir. It's world famous. It has some of the most expensive wines in the world. Um, and right here at home, we can enjoy that, that same grape uh, at a same world-class level. Um, you know, at a, at, a, at a good price, at an American price. Uh, at about under $20, right? Yeah, so this bottle is about $25. Okay. They also have um, another uh, bottle that's a little bit cheaper that's mm -hmm. about $18. So uh, depending on your price point, they have a few different options. And white, I notice, is not the, the typical Chardonnay, which we might get. Yeah, so, so Chardonnay is definitely the wine that most people uh, would pick up in the grocery store. I have to be a little different and bring something mm -hmm. uh, maybe to expand uh, some horizons. But uh, I chose a, a Sauvignon Blanc. I think this is just a great wine for Hawaii. It's crisp. It's refreshing. Uh, it has a lot of fruit in it. And it just pairs really, really well with a lot of Hawaiian cuisines, uh, such as fish, scallops, salad. Um, Vietnamese food and even Thai food, as long as it's not Thai hot. We like that. Too and rosé, you're a man after my heart there. What the rosé, the, the, the Copain rosé from Mendocino in Northern California. I mean, there's not much to say with rosé. Rosé all day. Everyone loves it. Um, it's just refreshing. It's fruity. Uh, and this is a great expression at around $16 per bottle. All right. We might have to crack this open after <laughs> the show. And then this one, like you said, is his bargain, too. So we're not going to break the bank here. So <laughs> you have the day off. And check out musingsbytheglass.com. Seth, thank you so much for coming in to celebrate thank National you. Wine Day with us. Pleasure. Visit us again sometime. Of course. We have more coming up after the break. We're going to wrap things up and tell you what we have in store for tomorrow when Living 808 returns.